Welcome to Water Wonders with Nancy and Lily. We're out here in the woods today, walking with the crew on the Peddler Raw Water Mainline. We're gonna ask them some questions and see what we're up to. Lynchburg has two wonderful water sources, the Peddler Reservoir and the James River. When our water comes from the Peddler Reservoir, it travels 22 miles by gravity all the way to Lynchburg's water treatment plants. That means it goes through three mountains and under the James River before it arrives at our treatment plants. Like most of Lynchburg's water systems, the Peddler Raw Water Main has a unique history. Lynchburg's early engineers established a reservoir 22 miles from Lynchburg in a pristine and protected location in the Peddler River watershed. The water travels from the reservoir entirely by gravity to the water treatment plant in Lynchburg. Back in the early 1900s, there was a wooden water line constructed from Peddler Reservoir to Lynchburg. It's 22 miles up. Everything's gravity fed. There's a few air valves we have to keep the water flowing smoothly so it won't vapor up. The first raw water main was built out of redwood, but it was prone to leaks. So, a new line made of cast iron was installed 22 miles parallel to the old line. 22 miles is a long way for water to travel, so it's important that the line is maintained and inspected to keep the water from Lynchburg flowing. Today we're walking the gravity main line from Peddler all the way down to Lynchburg. It's where we get all our water from. It's important because all our water comes from the Peddler here and we have to make sure everything's intact so the water can stay clean and get all the way to Lynchburg and serve the customers with water. The crews walk the entire line in sections each year and record any problems that they may find and make plans to fix them. Walking in and inspecting the 22 miles of raw water line takes the crews about two weeks. The reason why we walk it every year is the wooden water line is starting to decay and it's leaving voids in people's yards and maybe an animal or somebody step in it. So that's why we are finding all these holes and filling them in. Mm -hmm. And plus we can knock out two birds with one stone by walking the new line to see if it has any leaks on it or any manhole tops off. They're kind of right next to each other. They split off sometimes, but in a lot of areas down here, especially when you cross the creek, you can see the old one and the new one right next to it. So we're just making sure they're both intact and there's nothing wrong with them. Uh, we're making sure there's no cracks in it or anything, especially the old one. The older, was, older one was made out of a lot of wood. So we're making sure there's no holes in the grounds, make sure there's no cracks in it for water to come out, make sure that all the valves are working right. We're doing a lot of preventive maintenance on this. Uh, making sure there's no manhole tops missing, uh, make sure there's no holes in the yards and stuff like that. So after 22 miles of waterline inspection, the crews pack up their bags and head on to their next water job. There's always work to be done to care for our water infrastructure. Maintaining Lynchburg's water infrastructure is hard and important work. So the next time you turn on your faucet or flush the toilet in a school, business, or home in Lynchburg, Think about the incredible journey our water took over the mountain and through the woods and the water treatment plant to ensure that you have clean, safe drinking water 24-7 and all the folks working behind the scenes to care for and protect your water along its journey to you. Thanks for learning about the Peddler Line history and all it takes to maintain our water lines. And remember, every splash begins with one drop. See, See you next time. time. See you next time.